Interestingly enough, this is only our second ever Taiko Intensive and it really is about developing skills in the art form of Taiko as well as now creating an absolutely extraordinary video uh, that is going to encapsulate the energy, the beauty and interplay between the various art forms for Riversong 2023. This year is the most epic of all years I've been involved in so far, where we've taken those taiko onto location and filmed in, in spectacular style. I mean, it doesn't really get more epic and different than that. Uh, so Anton briefed me on what's going to happen, and so uh, it's working with the taiko drums, as you can hear them now, uh, trying to work out the rhythm and the beats of that, and he wanted circular movements to go with the round sound of the taiko. So in my head I'm playing around with circular movements and working with the children or with the students how they move and working with them what best suits their body. Okay. Um, I really really enjoyed working with Neville because he pushes us to be the best that we can be and to not worry about anybody else or what they think to follow our gut and what we feel like doing instead of thinking about what other people will think of us. This group of kids turn up on a Saturday morning. They've been learning drums, they've been learning dance, they've been they're learning singing, and they've been putting together these beautiful Polish performances for uh, yeah, for various things. And it's just amazing to see one how quickly they pick it up and the level that they perform it at. In essence, we've had three days. We've had three days to create a life-changing opportunity and the children and the young adults or youth if you want to call them of Murrumbilla Voices have approached an enormous amount of very unusual scenarios with vive enthusiasm and a real thirst um, for wanting to make things work. It's slightly competitive yeah, it's, everyone's got their own art form and I wouldn't want to be part of something that's not slightly competitive like that because I, I, I'm coming here with my taiko, I'm coming here with, with my video, Michelle's coming here with the choral, Nev's coming here with his choreography, that's for him the most important thing and when you get that happening together you just get this bubbling kind of like creative um, circle happening. This Murrumbilla like intensive weekend has really opened my eyes towards like the land that we're on and the people around it. It's different to the normal ones and it's more challenging. So if you like challenge, do it. <laughs> you get to work with other artists to get their expression of what they're saying, what goes into it, like you know, it's right from the heart. By the end of the intensive, that's what we do with the kids. It's like they're communicating with this group of 50, all in this rhythmic uh, dialogue together. Especially Taiko, it's really primal. Kids can really tap into that immediately. Um, and it's powerful, yeah, it's really powerful.